Will you all join me in a word of prayer? Holy and gracious God, there is uh, so much in this world that tries to tear us apart from one another and also from you. So we give you thanks on this day that we come together to celebrate the unity that we have with one another because of you, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So we ask for your blessing upon this concert that we have and for all of us who are gathered here. Through Jesus we pray. Amen. This time I'll invite forward Pastor Dirk. Thank you, Cassie. It's wonderful to be here uh, today representing Northwoods Assembly. My name is uh, Pastor Dirk Courier, and a uh, wonderful opportunity to be here to sing some songs with everybody. As uh, our group uh, gets together, um, get, gets ready to do their songs, as they get ready, you know, it kind of reminds me, um, singing together hymns like that, kind of remi reminds me of a story of a, of a pastor who uh, decided one uh, Sunday morning to do a little contest with his congregation. And he said, you know, today I'm going to ask some questions. And the one who answers most of the questions, you get to pick the hymns. We're going to do three hymns, and you can pick the hymns that we're going to sing. So the pastor asked uh, all the different questions, and, and finally it was the same elderly gal who answered all of them correctly. And finally he said, okay, sister, why don't you come on up here? You come up here, and it's your turn. You can pick the three hymns today. And she goes, I pick him and him and him. <laughs> At North, we got two songs we're going to do today. Uh, the first is called You Have to Serve Somebody. you got to serve somebody. It's actually a uh, Bob Dylan uh, uh, song who actually did a gospel album, and it's in reference to, you know, we're going to serve. You cannot serve God or money. Uh, you're going to serve somebody someday. And so John Boomgarden and Dallas Whips is going to sing that song. And then at Northwoods, uh, once a month, we kind of give our... Um, um, kids teachers a break during the service and so we include all the kids on communion Sunday and as a part of that we've started uh, up again our uh, Northwoods puppet team and so a lot of times we do a little lesson for the kids and they get to enjoy a puppet show so we did this last month so we thought we would uh, give you the uh, privilege and the honor of watching the puppet team do a song called Down by the River so we're going to start with John and you got to serve one, somebody two. To England or to France You might like to gamble You might like to dance You may be the heavyweight Champion of the world You may be a socialite With a long string of pearls But you're gonna have to serve somebody Yes indeed you're gonna have to serve somebody Drugs in your command, women in a cage. You may be a businessman or some hot degree thief. They might call you doctor, they might call you chief, but you're gonna have to serve somebody. Yes, indeed, you're gonna have to serve somebody. Well, it might be the devil. your spiritual pride you might be city council man taking bribes on the side you may be working in a barber shop you may know how to cut hair you might be someone 
someone's mistress. You might be someone's head, but you're gonna have to serve somebody. Yes, indeed, you're gonna have to serve somebody. Well, it might be the devil, and it might be the law, but you're gonna have to serve somebody. Well, it might be the devil, and it might be the law, but you're gonna have to serve somebody. Well, you can call me Bobby, you can call me Zimmy, you can call me Tommy, you can call me Timmy, you can call me Johnny, you can call me Johnny B. But one thing is for certain, I got Jesus' blood all over me. Well, I had to serve somebody. Yes, indeed, I had to serve somebody. But I had to serve somebody Praise God, it wasn't the devil Praise Jesus, he's my Lord Who saved a wench like me I know a place where we can go to lay the troubles down, eat in your soul. I know a place where mercy flows, take the stains, make you whiter than snow. Like a tide, it is rising up deep inside a current that moves and makes it come alive. Living water that brings a dead to life.
next song, the song I'm sure many of you know also, Open the Eyes of My Heart. By the way, Phil, did you, you know, uh, for those of us that are in, in the liturgical church, uh, there, there's a discipline called textual criticism, okay, which helps us always find, you know, the best uh, manuscripts. Did you know that they found a new manuscript uh, uh, not too long ago where, uh, you know, the woman who was caught in adultery, you know, Jesus is down, you know, and he steps up and he says, whoever is without first sin, cast the first stone, and the stone comes whizzing by his head, he goes, mother! <laughs> I like, seriously, I really like the puppet book. It's great. I'd uh, like to introduce our choir, and thank you, and our illustrious and most glorious and most wonderful uh, choir director, uh, the one who, of course, makes the whole thing work is, what's your name again? Uh, Mary Helen Zitzo, thank you. It's not, it's not Mary Helen. Okay, sorry. See, I'm as, I'm as much afraid of you as I am my wife, okay? Just wanna... <laughs> Two songs, is that correct for singing? Yeah. Leaning on the everlasting arms and you are my king. Thank you for letting us be with you today.
senior choir. I didn't know I was supposed to come prepared with jokes, though. <laughs> but I do have two stepchildren, so I'm going to tell you a story about Jackson and Layla. So Jackson and Layla, they're six and four. And before having kids, um, pastors sometimes have theoretical discussions about, like, when does a person actually, like, sin? Like, is it something that happens when you're a baby or when you're older? Well, having stepchildren has taught me that you don't need to teach kids how to be naughty, that they understand that in and of themselves. And when Layla was two, my confident little girl, 
Um, her dad gave her six Reese's pieces, so M&M sort of candies, because she ate a good supper. And her brother, who was four, also got six Reese's pieces. And Jackson, always so thoughtful, was carefully examining each one in his hand. And Layla, in one fell swoop, shoves all of hers in her mouth, jumps off her chair, smacks her brother in the face, grabs his, puts them in her mouth, and goes, time out, and walks herself to the naughty corner. <laughs> so you don't need to teach children how to be naughty. Uh, <laughs> and with that, we're going to talk about how great God is, even though we're all sometimes naughty. Um, so this is the Calvary uh, Senior Choir. They're going to sing, Oh Jesus, I have promised and wade in the water.
from the United Methodist Church. I did not, yeah, if you want to clap, that's fine. <laughs> I did not bring any funny stories because this is my first time doing this. But that's okay. Um, earlier on Facebook this week, I was reading this post that talked about Methodists. And Garrison Keeler, if you know who he is, he's from Prairie Home Companion, and he likes to talk about Methodists. Well, he wrote this, he said, many Methodists are bred from childhood to sing in four-part harmony, a talent that comes from sitting on the lap of someone singing alto tenor or bass and hearing the harmonic interval, intervals by putting your little head against that person's ribcage. It's natural for Methodists to sing harmony. We are too modest to be soloist, too worldly to sing unison. When you are singing in the key of C, you slide into the A seventh or the D seventh chords. All 200 of you. Well, today we have what? Eight, <laughs> counting me. It's an emotional, fulfilling moment. But you're, our joining in harmony, we somehow promise that we will never forsake each other. Today we'll be singing two selections, one called Glorious Savior and one called Jesus Messiah. Oh. 
We have one more musical set for you all. Um, one of our small group music here at Calvary is Sweet Assurance. So the ladies of Sweet Assurance will be uh, performing This Little Light of Mine. And please know that after our, our performance, um, we're going to sing together and pray together. And then you all are invited into the fellowship hall. We have decaf coffee on the tables. If you need regular, you are a lot better than I at this time. Um, but we do have a Keurig if you want regular. Otherwise, decaf coffee. And we have bars and treats for everyone as well.
It's been our pleasure to welcome you here. As we close our program, I'm really grateful for three things. I'm really grateful that here in Purim, we show a unity that is a gift in Christ that we can get together with all of our churches and have a really good time together. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? So thank you all. So a unity is a gift of God for sure. Second, I'm really grateful that we get a chance to kind of peek into the vitality of each of these churches and to hear in their music just the joy they have in Christ. And that is a real pleasure. And for that, we are also very grateful. And finally, I'm grateful that Jesus says in Matthew 25, as you welcome the least of these, you welcome Christ. And I'm grateful that over many years, Purim has found lots of ways to welcome the stranger here. And it's very neat in this community how each of your churches has kind of a little piece of that. And that uh, whether it's Ruby's Pantry or, or the Baby Bin, or uh, there are just all sorts of little pieces of this that each of you have in which you are welcoming the stranger and we are grateful. One of the pieces that we do together is this program that our ministerial association has called the Good Samaritan Fund. So that if we have people who are really true strangers, not even members of our community, are stranded, and if you can imagine what that would be like, sometimes this is young families and children and every kind of story, get stranded here, you know how you would want to be treated, you know how you would want to treat Jesus, so we do a good job of welcoming them. The police are part of it, um, our hospitality people, the motels and sometimes restaurants. So it means that they can have, they can be received here with open arms when they are down on their luck. And that really happens today. When the, when the plate is passed, this is us coming up with a little money so that we can make sure that people, even Jesus, is welcomed as Jesus comes into the community. So I hope that you will be generous, but we are very grateful that we are able, out of the abundance and goodness of God, that we are able to do that for people who come to our community. So at this time, we're going to pray. We'll close with the Lord's Prayer, and then we're going to sing, God Be With You Till We Meet Again, number 536. I think that's a great hymn for welcoming the stranger for our community. We've even been strangers who know each other better today. As we go on our way, that's what makes Jesus really happy. Let's pray. Lord God, we are so grateful that we were strangers and you welcomed us. You invited us into your family. This water that's pouring down around us, you touched us with that water in baptism, washed us clean, made us part of your family of these small communities of you that are here in Purim, but also this big community, the body of Christ in all the world. We thank you for welcoming us there, for giving us, giving us a mission. Lord, we pray especially for those strangers who are coming our way, that they could be blessed here, that you would not leave them alone, but would give us the opportunity to reach out to them and welcome this, them warmly. Lord, to welcome you warmly, because we know that we will also be blessed. Thank you for this wonderful music today, for these beautiful choices that have told the story so well. You are a good God, and you bless us in so many ways, and we are grateful to be in this community of unity and just the vitality of our churches. And now we pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And it will be our benediction, God be with you, till we meet again. Amen.
If you would like, that's okay. If you would like to make a donation to the Good Samaritan Fund, we do have a plate as you exit the sanctuary. Otherwise, um, there's a, a box as you receive your treats. You can stick a donation in there. And now it's time for treats.